Hi class, I'm going to go through these sites and hopefully if you watch the whole video you'll be able to see various examples and get some insights into things that will help you as you build your sites. All right, so I'm going to go in and look at these as a first time site visitor. I may have seen them, but I'm reviewing them as if I am landing here and interacting uh, with the site for the first time and checking the usability. All right. So when I land here, it's uh, very clear. We've got the logo in the header. That's great. Uh, just as it should be. We can definitely see which page we are on. Very clear navigation. We get into the content, easy to read. We are linked up at the bottom here to the client's content account. That's great. One thing I do notice, the contact us is catch us, which is very clever. I do want you to remember that whenever we use something that is not what people are used to, it slows them down a little bit, right? And so we're really trying to be careful with that. If you look at the laws of UX, you'll see um, explanations for all those kinds of things. We don't want to have our uh, client or our site visitor have to think too much. We just want them to be able to find what they're looking for. So in that way, we would typically say contact us because Search engines are going to um, find that more readily, and your site visitor, when they're looking to contact you, they're not going to use the search words uh, catch us. They're going to be looking up contact. Uh, either way, this goes to the end. All right, that's where people are accustomed to finding it because it's usually the last thing that they are looking for. Just reeled in, very fun, and I suppose that's the menu. So. Again, the same thing applies there. That would be great here if this was somewhat reversed. Menu up here and then just reeled in as a heading would be really great. Photos, okay. Again, that's going to be at the end. This content you can, uh, because these locations are the same on Monday and Wednesday and Tuesday and Thursday are the same, you can combine those if you need uh, to reduce the scrolling. The map is probably best below the actual content. Okay, This is actually a very good site um, and the things that I am discussing are very typical revisions that occur for the week four. Okay, so here uh, left aligned because Left alignment is easier for the user's eye to return to the same location, and it provides a nice straight edge. So I do love the text that we're using here, although we have changed here. Uh, let's stick with the same one, but the headings are looking great. I do like those and how clean they are with this font. It's a great font pairing. Um, and we'll want some separation. between here we've got a separation here but we need a little more separation between these events and left align uh, we have a different font here again and we need to break it up into paragraphs you can reduce um, a little bit if you need to uh, and I would close up some space here but overall this is a really great start and uh, as you go through you'll see some similar um, revisions that will be needed on other sites uh, and you'll see how people have resolved those. Okay, the next one, this is a great heading up here. It's very bold, you know, very easy to read, super important. Um, again, we need to move, I think the social is probably the contact page. We want to move that here to the end and rename it contact. The logo will go in the header and that way it will be on every page and it also um, is an image, so it's probably already named Real Deal Taco Logo, but that is something that search engines will crawl through, our images, so um, we want to use a keyword there and put it at the top. And be very careful with the logos. We never want to crop them. I know this may be the original that you received, but we've got to be able to add padding to that. Okay, And so we don't need to put it on the page. We need to put it 
in the uh, header so it will be on every page just like the navigation this is a different color I would probably put it in this color or this color right so we've got one two three that's probably one of the bigger things about this um, site is that it's got uh, three different shades of blue which can work together but we also need to pick those up in different places to combine them and make them work together we need the disclaimer at the bottom uh, we need the year all of the copyright information at the bottom but I do like this text with this art very nice easy to read here um, Again, same thing. We're going to have this up here, so we won't need it there. And the blue, I think, you know, this one works really well, um, or this one. They make a good combination. This is okay, but it's it's not used throughout, and so we've got this discrepancy. So I would just choose the two colors, uh, one being with the logo. That's almost always a good way to go. And this again, uh, that's going to go up here somewhere. And I would uh, change this hue to you know more of the blue instead of purple. This works fine um, if you wanted to. And there's room here, but if you needed to, you could combine them. I don't know that you do. And you have a nice hierarchy here. We can tell the headings separate the content. So that's all good. Copyright information is going to be at the bottom. Okay, um, good choice of colors. You know, you've got your contrast, good choice of text. I would move this image here and bring this column over under here a little bit. Um, that, that way you won't have a lot of scrolling, but uh, you also won't have such a wide page. So you can bring that here, bring that over, allow a little bit more padding in between. And these are things you're probably working on. Um, the thing that takes the most time is the menu. This uh, can be called contact, put a form here, and all you really need are the icons, but you've got these here and they're linked up and that's awesome. This we changed the font suddenly. Not a fan. Um, I think you can go ahead and keep this if you like, but I think the heading would be better if you kept it um, in your font that you were using um, here. So I would use your headers, um, your headings as this font throughout. And same with uppercase, lowercase. Try to be consistent. That's really one of the things. This line weight is a little heavier compared to this, the other art, uh, and that. So that's something to think about. But again, I know you're working on this, and I can tell you put a lot into it. We do want to get into the content uh, a little quicker, right? The main content is down here. So we want to get into that sooner. Um, and we want to left align that content. If you need to cut down a little bit of the content, take some sentences out, then you can edit that. Right? Otherwise, this is a great start. Here's another example. Um, the, we want to make sure our headings are the same. Now this changes. Uh, it's still legible, but it does change a little bit where we have the black and then we move to the yellow on another page. It's not really a problem as long as we can read it. Uh, we say open for lunch and dinner. Okay, we didn't say, yeah, we did. Okay, think about that. Okay, nice colors are working. You've got that feed in there. Good. And for this one, you had to take out the reservations, and you did. Good job. Okay, here, uh, this shouldn't be all caps for this particular font. This is working really clean. Um, I'm 
maybe you don't put that here. I think that that could come out. Ideally, we have the same depth, but it's okay in this situation. It's, it's not really a problem. Okay, so we do lose the contact uh, navigation here, you see. Uh, it's there, we just can't see it. So that would uh, has to be worked out. You can see that we are linked up. If you look at the bottom left, you'll see that. Um, okay. Probably that needs to be left aligned. Probably this could be uh, a little larger font. And you can edit this down if you have something this long. Um, again, left align that. Okay. And in a situation like this, I would make this pink probably blue, right? Kind of like a bookend to have the header and the footer match a little bit there. Probably don't need the search function. You can uh, select that and delete it. This, it's okay. Um, you could try this color or a darker shade of this blue, but it's all right. It's clean and it's legible. So um, this is really a very strong um, job at editing this particular font uh, template, but we do want to correct this and some fonts here. All right. Here's another example. We want to put the logo in the header. You'll find that it is on every page, but it's put there. This is a great font, easy to read. This is linked up, so time went into this. Nice and clean. Probably will look nice on mobile. Uh, in this particular course, students aren't required to uh, work with their mobile, but just keep it in mind. Okay. All right. So this could come up here. Are we using the same font for our header? Looks like it. But you do have two pages there. Header's going to be up there. Then you're going to get straight into your menu, something like that, with your logo up here. may not need that much depth, but it's not a big issue. Again, all right, so we have it on a one page, and then we have separate pages. That just kind of slows the site down if we have more, you know, duplicates and things. Um, all good. You can delete this, just select it and hit delete on your keyboard. Sometimes if you have to delete a uh, application, then you would have to go um, to your apps. And that would be going through your Wix logo to your dashboard and going through your apps and deleting those. That would happen if you had you know, reservations and online catering or anything like that. So this one is interesting because it's got this scrolling It is going to a different page. So you can either remove the other pages and what you would be doing is linking your about to here. So there would be, if there should be a anchor line that goes across here and on the right, you can name it. And wherever you move that, if it's linked to this, is going to land there at the that's where the top will be. You can create an anchor if you don't have one there. Um, and if you have any issues with that, you can contact me and I can send you steps, but it's also very easy to just um, Google it or ask Wix support uh, in a 
search real quick the Wix help site um, and it will give you all the steps that you need to do that. But I also have a little video if someone needs help that I created for that. Okay. Oh, this is a great site. It's a really great start. It's just got that one functionality and the logo needs to be moved. Okay. And logo again, it looks good here. It's legible, but it does need to go in the header. And we need to make, instead of per line, we need to make one shape that um, maybe is a 25 to 50 transparency box that the text can go over. And it looks like we have a similar situation here with new, uh, perhaps having to do with linking. Um, the same thing, we need to either drop this image back a lot more. Uh, you can look at the typography lecture uh, video and um, it will help with that. As far as, you know, putting your text over your backgrounds. Um, this again is going to go in the top. I usually do go left from right, but I'm checking the menus. Okay, same we looked at. Same thing. I, I don't mind that the image is the same because we can clearly see the content. Um, content is changing. When the image is the same, and the content is below it, that's an issue because the user doesn't feel like they've changed pages. They're not sure what's going on. But it is showing the content right away, so I don't mind the image being repeated. But um, we do need to um, solve this issue of the text overlaying the image. And it can be a consistent fix. and should be. Make sure you're using the same fonts when you're doing this. All right, so really that's the only thing with this one. It's linked up. There is a lot of scrolling though, and the footer uh, isn't there right now. And so we need to, unless this is the background. You can change a background. This background you have as the global background um, here. And so um, to change that, one would one can go into the, um, on the left of the Wix um, menu, you have the A with the color drop. And that's where you can go in and change some of the template. Um, so the footer needs to be put back with the copyright and um, with the date and the disclaimer. All right. Very easy to read. Very easy to read. This could probably be a little uh, richer, a little darker, but this is super easy to read. Um, the logo we will want to put in the header somewhere. This, we can tell it seems a little out of place uh, because this is white here. They are equally spaced, but they don't feel equally spaced because of the size of this one is not all the way up to here. Uh, and this seems wider. I would make them the same in your situation, in this case. I think this is clever this left align and make it a heavier font. If I use what font, which is a Chrome extension, I can see the font that this is. Uh, it's 16 point, but apparently it's just a very light font. That's the color. It's just uh, a little tough to read here at this size. Fonts are different sizes, so 24 points for one is not the same as 24 points for another. 
Uh, same thing, a little darker, make it a little easier to read. Uh, I feel like we've introduced another color here. Uh, I would use this instead. Um, okay, and... Okay. Did we mean to have the dive in link here is the question, or did we want it to link to the menu? The button there. Good job with the footer and all of that information. Okay, probably we want to get into this and have this underneath. I know that they give you these maps, but what people want right away is this information. And these would be linked up and anything uh, that we don't have, like the YouTube, um, and I don't think we have a TikTok for Real Deal Taco, then you're going to take those off or LinkedIn. This could be a little darker, the text, but generally it's a really strong site. So the event site is either incomplete, which is not uh, inconceivable since this is just the first draft, or it has a lot of images on it that is not loaded, but I think it's simply uh, currently not being worked on, uh, not accessible. Uh, nice and easy to read. Let's make sure we have the same line spacing. Here we have just a little less. Here we have more. We should be able to see the line. Um, let's see, normal weight. Hmm. Okay. So you'll want to separate. Uh, bring this up a little bit. So it's more like this. Yeah, so we've got Aerial Black, we've got Assistant Semi, we've got Fair Play. Um, so we need to remove one of those fonts. Just to make it a little easier to... There's not a lot of content here, so we don't need to have a lot of subheadings and things like that. I would put this on the same line, or move it over here and put your logo, or your logo, and then put that beside it. That might work well. You could also put the logo in the middle and uh, put your navigation below it, but we do want to be able to get into the content quickly. But otherwise, um, those are the things that happen with that particular template. All right, if, if I were using this color, I would make the navigation this color too. I would pick it up someplace else, um, or I would stick to the color of the logo. Uh, remove all that white. And this is placeholder. Double click to edit. So that would have to come out. And uh, any, you know, look for details. Close your space up here. And so also we want to make sure that we are entering the text. You can see this is pixelated. Um, and it's from the original. So 
it needs to be uh, entered text. I like this here. Uh, we still get into the content fairly quickly. I think I would use a uh, sans serif font up here in the navigation. And we can tell this is a picture of words, and so it's not searchable. Search engines can't find it. Uh, if you did have a search in your site, it would not pull any of these up. So you won't need this. You'll just need to enter that content. And the menu does take extra time, for sure. So these three things uh, have to be entered. Okay. So it's a start. These need to be linked up. So basically the header and the logo are here with some images. Um, and some time needs to be set aside to work on this to make sure all the content is there. And as I say, the menu takes quite a bit of time, so leave time for that. All right, let's check this button. Mm, same thing, we need to take time to enter all the content. Well done, laid out nicely. I do like this header. I like the size. We do need to link this up. I'm going to go back here. I do like we have the about and a nautical tale. I do appreciate these. I think that's adorable. And you renamed your file. Good job. Okay. We need a little bit of space there. This may be a case where you can combine Monday and Wednesday and Tuesday and Thursdays. I think that would work well for the brand that you have been going for. Um, a little bit of space. And uh, yeah, again, you know, it's not that you don't, that you have to use this color, but it's, it's not tying in for me a lot here. Um, you know, maybe maybe it needs to be a darker shade of this. Maybe it needs to be um, a sans serif font like the logo, but something to help tie it in a little bit. Love this. There's a lot of good, um, you know, messaging and art directing going on. Okay. I think we want some of this content up a little bit. Uh, even if we could reduce this to three lines or two lines, then that would get us into the content a little bit. You could even uh, have it one line if you needed to, but... And link those up. But this particular template isn't always easy because uh, it does have deep headings, you know, like this. So you, you're really fighting scrolling. It has a lot of images that need to come out. But so I think uh, I, this was a good job for this, for sure. Uh, let's see. I would try and have the logo a little bigger. I know that's going to make the heading, the header a little deeper. Um, but just slightly larger would be good. And then this would come off. I like how clean it is but it's space that you can use for the product. And then this would come out too. This would be in the footer. 
with the year. So everyone wants to remember to include the year and enter the menu and the locations. Uh, good job here. If you need to edit a little, a couple of paragraphs or, or so, a few lines, you could go through and take out what isn't needed. Probably uh, this is a little empty. Um, nice place for an image. We don't need a drop-down. Um, if you remove the more, then you're just going to have news and contact. The, and the only way, the way you do that is you go to your pages and menu and you'll see more and you just drag these um, out from under it and that will disappear. Great legibility. A little space here, a little tight in here, but barely, barely. It's, it's really strong, easy to read. And usually when I see an underline, I don't care for it. It feels like it's a link, but I don't feel that here. What you will want to do is, in the navigation, put a solid background of white uh, so that it's not overlapping like that. Okay, That's a good solution for that. And linked up. So this is a strong site. Just need some time spent uh, for the menus. They ran out of time. Okay. We want to make sure our arrow isn't covering up our button. Okay. Definitely feels uh, AI. And it's not that I have a problem with you using AI. Um, for the right things, and I can. It's fine for this if you want to call it a mock-up. Um, I think using them for examples, you know, for clients and things. But as far as the actual, obviously, you don't have an actual image of Brenda Thomas. However, um, I do think we have to be very careful with overdoing AI. When we can tell that it's AI. Um, it doesn't feel authentic to the site visitor, and there's a disconnect, you know, especially when it's a very small company. We want them to feel connected. We need to know that there are real people, especially in this world of online. We need to know that we can trust who's on the other side. And so while I commend you for strong layout, and it looks great, and I'm certainly not docking points, it's an opportunity to discuss this because if we can tell, and I feel like that should be your benchmark, if you can tell something is AI, it's probably uh, not the best application of it. Um, and that goes for writing or for anything. I am at the place, at first I loved that students were writing better, but now I would rather see poor writing um, and know that it's theirs and that it's their authentic voice. And I can tell you it's more interesting and more creative writing um, when it's in their own words. So that's just a word about AI. It's beautiful. It looks great. Uh, I think it's a wonderful use for a mock-up, and it's okay to use it in this case. Okay. And all linked up. I would have the tell be a little higher contrast. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit. It's been a busy week. Um, If you could make this two lines like this, that would be best. That's just something to remember when you're creating something. A little tight here. 
as far as line spacing. So this is really strong. I, I love this and I love these two colors together, this teal and uh, this sort of a, a yellow leaning into line in the sh shadows here. Beautiful, very fun, and I can see where, again, this is AI, but it's not a bad use for it when you're trying to come up with something graphic, you know. Um, that's fine. It's not an individual. Uh, this is very colorful, too. You may, if you want to go in that direction, have a style guide in that direction, then probably this color would pick up, you know, one of these. Just a note. Um, if this were at the top, it might pick up some of the lighter, cooler blues, but um, it's really a beautiful page. It just does feel a little different than the knees. Um, that one is a little text heavy. Just feels a little different in color, especially because this is black and white. Um, so really, it's, it's just fine-tuning this one because it's really, it's a strong sight. Okay. That needs some more time in little places. Um, be careful with glassware because it's a food truck. Sometimes it can feel like plastic and we let it go. Um, but in a lot of spacing here, we probably can close some of this up even a few, um, yeah, I would, I would try and close some of that space up. It's not always easy, depending on the template. Probably only need menu once so we can get into the content quicker. And, yeah, okay. But it's a great, terrific start. Um, with a lot of thought behind it, and I appreciate that. All right, so this one actually uh, is a Wix Studio. So here's a special note on that. Um, Wix Studio is not free, and so if you have a Wix Studio, you won't be able to use it in week four because your trial will expire. Um, you also are unable to forward your Wix Studio into a Wix.com, so it's a total recreate. Uh, so that's why we don't use Wix Studio. It's not a free version, and we get lots of use out of Wix.com. It has tons of templates, um, and you're able to continue and keep it even into next year. So uh, this would be left aligned. There, we're missing a navigation here. I'm not going to go into a lot of things because this one will have to be recreated into a Wix.com unless this person uh, is ready to purchase their own uh, domain and uh, annual subscription. Um, again, no reservations. It's just a food truck. All right. And, uh, of course, navigation is priority. All right. One more uh, that we'll look at. We want to make sure we're linked up. A little bit of space here, padding around your button here. It's landing in the correct place. That means that anchor line is right there. Uh, this is different um, as far as we're changing, but it's an obvious desire to change it, the font, so uh, the weight and color. So I'm okay with that. It does make it harder to read when we are left to right, uh, when we're not aligned left. I understand it makes a nice straight edge here, and I'm not going to, I wouldn't count points off for that, but we are to left align. I can see it's on purpose, but we need to, to keep that in mind. And they've taken off the red. Good job. This template is not easy. Because it's a food truck doesn't mean that it's easier. It's actually more difficult because 
it's for this template is for a, a burger food truck and the colors are not the same as our client so everything has to be altered anything that seems you know uh, usable as a food truck um, and so it, it's really very time consuming to update this particular template but the red was removed here it's got the hamburger uh, original background and it needs to have the menu updated the locations super clear and landing in the right place that might be a little better but I'm okay with it all you would have to do is move that anchor a little bit to right there that line in your editor and the contact is not linking up here the easiest thing to do is to actually um, go into your pages and menu and add a new page add a contact page and that will add another link but you can remove the old one and uh, it will be easier to work with when you create a new page it will be a separate page but um, it's easier than trying to go through and link things up if you want to that's just one option all right so um, that's several different examples of what uh, students submit and so i hope that you get a chance to review all of these and that doing so uh, gives you ideas and insights all right thanks everybody